Hello, this video will look at the optimal provision of a public good. Imagine we have a 15 household subdivision and the members of this subdivision are thinking about hiring a security patrol, which would be a public good. Each household has a marginal benefit of security patrol given by 20 minus Q. So we've got 15 households, each one of them has a marginal benefit curve equal to 20 minus Q. Some books might instead write this as P equals 20 minus Q. Okay, Put it in the format of an inverse demand curve. As we know, the demand curve just represents marginal benefit anyhow, so don't get tripped up by the notation. Q is going to represent hours of security patrol over some time period, let's say per month. and there's a cost of, of providing security patrol we have to hire people to do that and let's say that runs thirty dollars an hour so let's find a few things here the first thing let's find is the social marginal benefit curve or just the social marginal benefit of security patrol we'll label that SMB for short to derive that result, we're just going to take the marginal benefit of each household and multiply it by the number of households in the subdivision. So 20 minus Q times 15. We get a social marginal benefit curve here of 300 minus 15 Q. Again, some books might refer to this as a, a social demand curve. Okay, that's fine. All right, the next thing is let's find the socially optimal quantity of the security patrol. To solve that, set the social marginal benefit equal to the marginal cost. 300 minus 15 times Q equals 30, or 15 Q equals 270 and that will simplify down to just 18. So this subdivision uh, should hire 18 hours worth of security patrol for the month. That is what is socially optimal. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.